when we present the performing arts, we are talking about our culture, about our performing arts that have been passed down from generation to generation. As the name Sri, Sri means glow and warisan means heritage. So I hope that our young generation will continue the legacy and promote the art so glow the heritage. We have three components. Number one, we preserve. So we preserve through teaching them, conducting classes, through workshops, so on and so forth. And then uh, after preserving, we promote. How we promote? We perform at Arts Rich Program. And the third one is we create. So when we create, we still embrace the roots, but then we create at a platform where we allow youth to hold to their tradition, but you can put it in your own way. So that's why we said you can create but holding to the roots of the tradition. So these three components allows us to you know, move forward and safeguard our heritage. So we want to make sure that these performing arts uh, such as Malay dance, Bangsawan, Wayang Kulit, uh, DK Barat will reach out to almost everybody. And this performing arts that we present is not only through performances but through workshops and we want it to in a way touch them and that they can relate to. For Sri Warisan itself, we have our Saturday classes. These Saturday classes, we reach out to the community or to Singapore public uh, as young as five years old all the way until I think the oldest is like around 45 years old where they learn about Malay dance, the five basic Malay dance, about Diki Barat, about Wayang Kulit and a little bit of uh, Bangsawan. And through this also, we have another program which is going out to schools. So these schools are structured programs which are endorsed by the National Arts Council. And these are like uh, enrichment programs, education programs, uh, assembly programs. Other than that, we have our international festivals and also workshop. I think this award serves as in purpose for my young people, young team, because they are already embracing what I have passed down to them and now it's being acknowledged, acknowledged and endorsed and I'm sure we are being very blessed, honoured and of course we are always said the word humbly honoured so that the young people can carry on and they know the importance of what are they embracing and why are they doing it.